Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine with a four-card spread. This is for the Zodiac sign of Capricorn. This is your monthly for 2020. Let's see what messages the spirits have for you. Um, I have pre-shuffled the cards. We have four cards here. Four cards fell out for you. So the first one is the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Then we have the Nine of Wands in the upright. Then we have the Strength in the upright. And then we have the hangman in the upright. Let's get started with the first one, Capricorn. Okay, so this is the queen. I'm going to put it right here. This is the queen. I don't know if you can see that all that well. I'm trying to capture my light here. This is the queen of pentacles. There we go. Okay, so this is, um, this is you... Or I'm also seeing a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But this person is concentrating on their money. Okay, you see how she's sitting? She's quite wealthy. She's sitting on her throne and she's covered. Okay, and she's wearing the crown of victory, but she's also covered. That means that all her luck is, stays with her. She's underneath this reef of flowers and stuff. And that's always a good sign. And... She's holding the coin in her lap, so she's securing it. So I call this card, Bring Home the Bacon, because uh, you're mostly in the past, because this is the past position, uh, have been thinking about your money. Um, I'm also seeing fertility here. Some of you might be announcing that you're having a baby from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the month of March, want to have a baby, are going to have a baby, or announcing that. Um, you're you're concentrating on abundance um, I'm also seeing that you, uh, uh, concentrating on abundance to raise your family, take care of your family financially. Um, I'm seeing a, a good business career movement. Um, and I'm also seeing and hearing that you're not afraid of hard work, that you've been working hard to get to the stage. Um, yeah. And... I'm also seeing charitable, something about charity. I don't know if you're giving money to charity or you're thinking about giving money to charity. But I do see that you have a quiet personality and, and easygoing. You're like the Mother Earth type. And, and I feel that you're very responsible when it comes to family. Okay, so you're thinking about your money and stuff, but here's the but. Now I'm seeing... Um, the ten of, I mean, the nine of wands. So you see how the person is wearing a scarf on their head and they're kind of feeling beat up. Let me stabilize this camera, guys, because it's just moving everywhere. Okay, so here's the bandage. Okay, and look at his face. His face, he's looking around. He's just watching everything because this is how you're probably feeling. You're feeling like there's an enemy somewhere and you're working hard to protect Everything that you own, everything that's near and dear to you. So, um, I'm, I'm seeing that you feel like life has beaten you up or, and you've worked hard to get where you're at, but you've taken a lot of, um, a lot of hard lessons. Okay. Um, you're ready, you're you're able to handle, pros I'm having a hard time with this reading, guys. What's going on with y'all? I'm having a hard time getting my words out. Okay, so I'm seeing that you you got a lot of stamina, but you've had a hard time getting to where you're at, okay? You still have strength and stamina to maintain control over everything that in, that's in your interest, whether it be home, family, work, or whatever, but um, it's taken... It's taking a hard time to get there. That's why the man's wearing a bandage because he feels beat up. He's kind of leaning on his pole here. So, you know, because he's tired, but he's still able to hold himself up. So that's how your energy is you're, or was. You're still able to hold yourself up, even though you've gone through all this stuff. Um, yeah. The, the wands behind here represent... Everything you're working for, but it also represents it's protecting you from from an enemy from behind, an enemy from behind. So things are that are coming at you that you don't see, 
you're still able to handle that and protect yourself from it. Because I do see things coming at you from different directions, whether it be responsibilities, bills, hostile people, um, you know, whatever it is that's coming at you, attacking you. It, it doesn't just mean people. It could mean, you know, bills can attack us. Feelings can attack us. All kinds of stuff can attack us. So um, you're still able to handle that and stand strong with it, even though life is making you feel beat up. I see an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You could be involved with an Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius that's making you feel this way or one that's coming in to help you. Okay. Yeah. So with different scenarios here. Okay. So now let's move on to the strength card. So here we have strength. So... And this card, this represents that you, you need to find your strength in order to proceed. Um, the woman is shutting the, the lion's mouth because the lion's coming in with a roar, okay? So this roar is your life. It represents your life. Your life is coming in with a roar. It's so much there that you're having, you know, a hard time handling everything, all, all the problems that come up, you know, all your responsibilities. But if you do notice there's yellow here, and yellow in this other card as well, because you see in this first card, there's yellow. Anytime you see a complete yellow background, that means a new day is coming. Okay, so in your card here, there's yellow in the strength card, because here we have the infinity sign. So that means that this is going to go on forever. This is your life cycle. Okay, and she's also wearing a crown of victory. So when you find your strength, you're going to be in a much better position. This is what this card is telling me. Find your strength so you can um, move for, further in your life. Um, I'm, I'm also hearing that you need to pray and meditate, and you also need to manifest things by writing on paper. I'm sorry, guys. You can see my chair in the background. <laughs> I have a chair. So, I, mean, I don't know what else is back there that you can see. Um, yeah. So... You're, de you're starting to develop an ability to develop courage and face conditions that seem overwhelming. I'm hearing that. Facing your fears can help you evolve into a different person, okay? Because you do have a lot of fears about life, about relationships, about other stuff, and you need, and you need to free yourself from that. Free yourself of your fears, and, and the more you become freer, the more in life you will do. So this is this is what I'm hearing right now, that you, you have a lot of fears that things might not turn out a certain way, so sometimes you don't do them. You won't proceed with a certain idea or something you want to do because of a fear that you have. Okay, you got to calm those fears down. This is what this card is telling you. Find your strength, calm those fears down, because you never know what you can and cannot do unless you try, okay? Unless you try something, you won't know if you can and cannot do it. And if you're not able to do something, it does not mean that you're a failure. It does not mean that you're a loser. It just means that it wasn't meant for you. Okay? If something fails in your life, you are not a loser. It just means that that particular thing was not meant for you and it's time to move on to something different. Okay? So the universe has many, many things for us, and sometimes we miss them because we're so busy trying to do our own thing that wasn't meant for us or wasn't meant for us to have or something like that. If you're having trouble doing something, like let's say you're in a relationship and you're having trouble with this relationship, it's just constant, constant, constant. Okay, it wasn't meant to be because a, a relationship that was meant to be is going to flow. It's going to flow like water. It's going to flow like air. It's going to be flow naturally okay you're not going to have constant constant arguments or constant problems in it all those are relationships that weren't meant to be but we're trying to force them okay so that's the same thing in life and any situation if you're forcing something to happen forcing to make it happen and and you see it's still not manifesting then it wasn't meant to be yes you can manifest things by writing them down but the good things will manifest with our help, you know, by writing stuff down, but the bad things won't. They'll just, we'll just keep having problems and problems and problems, okay? I don't know if you can understand what I'm trying to tell you, but yeah. Okay, so the next one is the hangman. Where did he go? Hangman, where are you? Here we go. Sorry. So with the hangman, 
This is the card of sacrifice and release. So I do see you releasing some of your problems. I do see you um, trying to manifest things. But here's the important thing. Once you release, once you sacrifice and release, that's when heaven comes in and leads you the way you're supposed to go. That's when heaven comes in and leads you in a new direction. I see that you're ready to accept the new direction in your life for the highest good for yourself and for your friends and family as well. Okay. The color red represents passion. Okay. So that's the passion that you have moving forward in your life. Heaven, I'm hearing that heaven has many things to offer you and you're ready for a new direction to be shown to you, but you have to release when no longer serves you. Okay. You have to release the past as well. I'm seeing you some, some of you hung up on a past situation. You keep thinking about it. You don't want to let go. Maybe you're thinking about an ex. I see Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or any sign for that matter, and you keep thinking about this person, and the relationship has been way over for a long time, but you're still hung up on it, hung up on it. As long as you're having thoughts about it constantly, you're still not letting go. Even though if you did let go of the relationship, but you're still in that energy, heaven can't bring you nothing new, okay? So that's what this card here is telling you, that heaven can't bring you nothing new. I don't know what's on my card here. But anyway, so... This card is about letting go, giving up, letting go of old ideas of an old way of lifestyle so you can move into the new lifestyle that the heaven, your universe has to offer you, okay? Yeah, so think about that. Think about moving forward all the time, letting go of the past, letting go of what no longer serves you. That includes people, places, things. If there's a person that no longer serves you for your heart, good luck. Let's say they're just hanging around, using you, you know, not really supporting you. Then that's a person that no longer serves you for your heart. Good. You have to let them go, even if it hurts. Okay. So you can't, you can think about the past if you want to, but you can't remain there forever. Even if you try, you can't stay in the past forever. You have to move on at some point. Okay. And the universe here, I see, wants to give you many gifts, many good things to come, but you're being stuck in the past. Stop being stuck in the past and move forward. Stop being stuck with fear. I see some of you are stuck in a situation, whether it be a job or relationship, because of fear, because you don't know what's next. You don't know if you're going to find another boyfriend. You don't know if you're going to find another job. Of course, don't quit your job if you don't find one, you know, but... Don't be stuck in something without trying to find something better or something that's, you know, higher for you, okay? A higher good for you. That's the message here for Capricorn, March 2020. All right, guys, this is your reading for March. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all the subscribers. I'm tongue-tied. Subscribers so far. Also... If you want a personal reading, y'all, contact me and let me book it, and then you send the money, and then comes the reading, okay? If you send money without contacting me, I won't know who the money's from. So contact me. I'll set a time and date for you, then send the money, and then comes the reading, all right? I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.